Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Job Piper here. Well today's video is entitled Smoking One Blend Versus Many Blends. Now this video is primarily for you new pipe smokers and possibly the intermediate pipe smoker who is who is ready to try to figure out uh, what kind of tobacco is your favorite tobacco. Um, I'm going to try to kind of guide you in the right direction as the way to go and to avoid some of the pitfalls or some of the mistakes I made uh, when trying to figure out uh, what my favorite blend is. Now, first of all, let's, let's talk about why you would want to smoke more than one blend. Um, tobacco today uh, is a lot, uh, lot, I would say a lot better, in my opinion, it's a lot better and it is, there is a, a lot more variety than there were, than it was back in the 1950s or 60s. 50s or 60s you had, I don't know, 30 or 40 different blends that you could choose from. And a lot of those blends uh, you got from a drugstore. Uh, so uh, let's take my grandfather as an example. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, I would see him with a pipe. And I've mentioned this before in other videos. Uh, every Christmas, uh, our gift, the grandkids' gift to my grandfather would be Prince Albert. Um, usually in the big, the big can. Uh, and he'd smoke on that all year long. And that's the only blend that he, uh, that he enjoyed. Now, possibly the main reason that's the only blend that he enjoyed is because of financial reasons. Uh, my grandmother and my grandfather grew up in uh, eastern Kentucky in the mountains. And um, at that time... Um, they were very poor. Um, my grandfather was very uh, industrious. He, he could do a lot. Um, uh, so, uh, he ran a store. Uh, he was a farmer. Um, so he did a lot of things. He got by like a lot of those people did back in those days. But due to him being so poor, he didn't have the money to go out and buy a lot of tobacco blends that were offered for the day. And he would smoke on that Prince Albert, I think, all year long until the following Christmas when we would all buy him another stash of it. So that's, um, that's one consideration. Um, now, the thing about it is, is how do you figure out what kind of blend or what what kind of taste you have for tobacco. Um, if you are, if you are financially challenged uh, and you don't have a lot of excess cash to use on buying tobacco, uh, there's several ways to, that you can get blends and try to figure out what your favorite is. Um, I've mentioned this in another video, I think, uh, one of the first things that I would do is um, you can either, one, go to a brick and mortar store, if you have one nearby, and they will usually sell you an ounce of tobacco. And you can get an ounce of tobacco anywhere from $2.50 to $5. Uh, online, they also offer bulk blends of tobacco that you can get again between two fifty and five dollars only bad thing about that is that you're gonna have to pay the shipping cost to get it shipped to you and that usually is around six bucks so uh, that's one way to go about it you could order you know if you get several if you get some money together uh, you can order several different blends one ounce blends and smoke those and see which ones are your favorite um, the only, another bad thing about that is there's over a thousand different blends out there uh, from 50 different blenders. So how do you choose? How do you 
figure out which ones that you like. Uh, well, first of all, when you go online and you go to the bulk sales of either uh, pipesandcigars.com or smokingpipes.com, uh, look at the different companies that are offering bulk blends and choose an ounce of a different bulk blend from each one of those different blenders. That way it may narrow things down for you if you look at the blender and say, okay, I really don't like the way that tobacco is made, I don't like the texture, I don't like the way it smells, I don't, you know, etc. So if you can narrow it down to a certain blender, then you can cut a lot of those uh, unnecessary ones that you feel are unnecessary out. Um, but that's one way to go. Another way to go is if you have several friends Let's say that you have uh, anywhere from three to five friends. And what you can do is you can get together and you can pop up smokingpipes.com or pipesandcigars.com or even go to your brick and mortar store. And you can sit down and decide, okay, let's look at several blends here and, and order, I don't know, 50, $50, you know, $50 worth of tens or $60 worth of tens and then split it five ways and then when the tobacco comes in you open it and each of you take a portion of that blend um, you put it in a mason jar so it won't ruin and then you can smoke on those five blends and decide okay uh, no I don't like nightcap yes I love Escudo no I don't like Elizabethan uh, yes I love 1Q uh, you can decide for yourself which ones that you want to, uh, which blend type you want to pursue. Uh, if you've got anywhere from three to five friends, um, you can decide together which blends you're going to get and then split the cost. Uh, and then once those tobaccos are smoked, get together again and pick five more or six more blends. Uh, do that until you've discovered which blends that you prefer and which blends you want. Now, it is perfectly fine, it's perfectly okay to choose one blend and smoke that blend for the rest of your life. Uh, like my grandfather, he smoked Prince Albert and that was it. There are people that I have met at the Chicago Pipes show that will only smoke one blend. Uh, at uh, Schwab's Pipes and Stuff when I was um, a tobacconist there. Um, there would be people come in and they would only get one blend and they would get a pound of it and it would last them a month or two months and they'd come back in and get a pound of the same blend. They would not change for anything. You couldn't, you couldn't give them another blend. And that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if uh, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you're searching for, going to these different, get it, getting different blends to find one that you like, and you're going to stick with that one the rest of your life, that's perfectly fine. There are others, like me, who have what I call a wandering palate. Um, for some reason, I'm not satisfied with just one blend, or I will smoke one blend for a week straight. By the end of the week, I'm ready to move on. I'm like, okay, that's it for me, I I need something different. So that's why I try to keep several different blends on hand. And like I've shown in different videos, uh, uh, particularly my 16 blend uh, rotation, um, as you know, I've got about 24 different blends that I can choose from. And that's just because of my wandering palate. I, I don't, I'm not satisfied with just one flavor. And that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, if you have, if you're like me and have a wandering palate and you like a lot of different taste, then having a lot of different tobaccos on hand. Um, I spent quite a bit of money trying to figure out what blends I like. And now that I've done that, I'm focusing in on purchasing just those blends. The rest of the blends that I have purchased, I'm either giving away as samples to other people uh, in my immediate area. Uh, I don't send 
samples out through the mail. Um, I had a friend of mine get in big trouble for doing that, so I don't, uh, as of right now, I, I got to figure out a way to get around uh, uh, being able to send tobacco through the mail without getting in trouble. Um, but again, that's uh, that's totally up to you as to whether you're and you're searching out one blend to smoke for the rest of your life, or you're or you're uh, you're searching for several different blends that you can rotate. All right, well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And until my next video. I want to wish you and your family happy piping.